All right, so I told you guys, um, Exagon is also one of my favorite platformers, and so is Chill of the Jungle. This is another uh, epic Mega Games production, and it's also 1992. So it's pretty interesting because this is also one of my favorite platformers from when I was young. Yep, and instead of having a male protagonist, here we have a female protagonist. And uh, jump and shoot a boomerang, which is pretty cool. So you can shoot this boomerang, which kills things and comes back to her. And just like Exargon, it has great music, great for sound effects, etc. Alright, let's go through this the alligator thing here. Ooh. Ooh. But instead of uh, bars of health, instead I have a health meter instead. It's a little bit more difficult to tell, but... How come those frogs don't die when they go into the spike pits? I'm annoying. And you do have a... Uh, overhead map but it's not the same kind of overhead map it's just it's basically just platforming map it looks just like other levels except it's just, it goes to different um levels that you can beat so yeah so the level selection screen is different it's not overhead actually yep it just basically looks like another level oh I die, I think I die in one hit if I go into those spikes. And I can't kill those things, okay. I got two of these boomerangs now. I can fire two at once. Ooh, I can fire many of them at once, actually. Three of them. Yep, I got three of those boomerangs. Yeah, I got a key, yeah. Okay, the jungle map. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just it looks just like an irregular level except it's used to enter different stages and stuff. Two gems to enter that dungeon. I remember I beat this shareware version before also. We've got a spinning blade. It's my other weapon, spinning blade. Oh, here's what I need to get. This one. Extra jumping power. Yeah, I need the extra jumping power. And yeah, the water kills me in one hit, so I can't even go near it. Hey, okay, super jumping. Save my game. Get her up there. those gems I need to open the door. Oh, okay. Let's go open that one. Castle. Okay. 
keys right there. It's a little bit tricky. There. To time your jump correctly. Two keys. Another key. Four keys. Alright. That's enough. One of them is to get out. There we go. The second gem. Alright, now let's go to stay here. Need it, that's a bonus level. Fix dungeon. In this game, I think you can also turn into one of those frogs and birds. You have to find a transforming thing and you'll turn into one of them, I think. Yep. Red or blue? Choose red. Phoenix maze. There's one way to transform into a phoenix, I think. Transform into a Phoenix, and if I touch the water or die, I just have to avoid the water. And this is kind of like what Pac Man? Okay. Let's see how it is. Yeah. Another key there. I get it. Oh, I need one more. One more key. Wow. Okay, 
gonna try blue one. Knight's puzzle. Here's the puzzle game, puzzle level. I believe I, if I run into one of the knights while he's like that, I die. So. Okay, anyways, um, a little bit stuck at this puzzle here, but yeah, I remember beating this game before, though. This is Jill of the Jungle by Epic, and it's a little bit more faster paced than Exargon, as you can see, but it's still a really good platforming game. I still play it from time to time. Ooh, it's all over now, except for that one. I still play it from time to time, and it's still a pretty good game, it even holds up to this day. There, I got it. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. Yep, that is Jill of the Jungle, and uh, if you have time, check it out. Great, great game on Shareware, or get the full version. But Epic hasn't released um, their games uh, to be updated yet, which, unlike Apogee, who re released its games, Epic has never really re released its old games, which kind of sucks, but you can probably pick up the Shareware version if you want to try it out. Or look at the BBS. No, I'm kidding. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching.